disconnected because I was idle too long. Let's let it turn back on. I think last time I... Oh, there we go. So, yeah, yeah, we good now. All right. So, we're underwater. Where we're going, I don't quite know. But I'm, assume, I'm assuming we'll know when we get there. This is like uh, Dollar Tree Rapture. We got, looks like some Freemasons up in here. Or, no, 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 that's the Assassin's Creed Guild. What it looks like. So, we got, got some Assassin's Creed underwater. No problem. I'm glad you enjoy it, man. Definitely on Saturday, um, tune in and um, it'll be awesome to see your little dude riding around in that Jeep. <laughs> All right, nothing over here. Let's go run up this mountain. Like I, I mean, I feel like maybe there's something to do with that that building over there with the Assassin's Creed logo. Oh, this is a submarine. That actually looks pretty dope. I just... This game's really... I'm not going to say linear. Because, I mean, it's expansive, as you can see. Um, however, like, jumping up the side of walls and stuff doesn't really work, see? So I'm pretty sure we got to do something over here. So, I mean, let's just kind of go towards these glowing lights. Pretty sure that's not anything. But I keep seeing something peek around the corner. Yeah, what is this? Lamboa. All right. Let's kind of crawl between the raptors there. Little raptors. Little underground city. Because clearly, this is, I mean, when you think about it, they must have had a lot of traffic coming through these, uh, these little routes over here for them to put out actual lit up signs. But, okay. So, it looks like this kind of got crushed in. So, definitely not going that way. I have time of shirts. Oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah, that'll be awesome. Uh, yeah, get you some vegetables, man. <laughs> All right. I nothing over here. I feel like we're kind of going in a big circle right this second. So, it's got to be like another entry way that we're supposed to go. Okay, okay. So, we're hearing some weird stuff. Oh, damn. This dude is not happy with your boy. Yeah, where is Wally? Oh! Well, okay, we learned two things. One, there's underwater dudes that will kill us. And two, Wally is AWOL. So, <laughs> so, so, unlike last time, what was crazy? Okay, so you do encounter various like robotic cyber dudes out here in the, you know, out, out and about, um, and they just kind of like do some psychological stuff to you, and then you get like injured, so to speak. But I don't think you ever quote unquote die. Um, but you start limping. Oh, look, you hear him talking to me, Bruh. Oh, hell no. This dude's after me, like, legit. <laughs> Pray for your life. I'm trying, bro. All right, we got a skedaddle. Well, did it go away? I think so. Oh, I totally thought that that was going to, like, do something. Oh, look. I think I see something over here. Nope. It's tricking me. It's just the window. That's where we want to be, though. So we're going to go around this corner. Pray for your life, human. Yeah, old Wally floated away, man. It's really sad. Hopefully, I mean, we might get lucky and run into him again. I'm assuming that's the way to go. But, I mean, look at this little area over here. Hey, look, you can knock on the door. Oh, never mind. You just press the button. Oh, uh, Omni tool time. Unable to activate. Escape vessel. Protocol missing. 
All right, well, that was pointless. Catch you later. So it's saying you can... It, it looked like there's some kind of different icon. Let me try this one more time. Nope. Unable to activate. Escape vessel. Protocol missing. I know, I know. I'm just going to take it then. All right. I had to try at least one more time just to see. All right, nothing over there. Let's just kind of go this way. I'm... I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the way to the right, but what is that, a fish? Oh no, is that our little homie? Not quite, but he doesn't seem to be, you know, into murdering, so that's a win-win. You see, that's a long way, and I, mm, let's go into this building over here. At least we have kind of like a plan B if this doesn't really, this isn't a very fruitful endeavor. It's probably like some kind of little, little drop off point for a quick second. You come in here and get something. Cool, just press the button. That's all the security you need. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. It seems like you would. That's what it said, you know. Maybe that's some kind of like. Maybe we get it in here, and then you so use it to escape out of this area. Where Catherine is. <gasps> Catherine, we're about to see our girlfriend, our radio girlfriend. We talked to her twice. I think she's into me. Pretty sure this is the same entrance design as the last one. This whole bootleg rapture. Let's go to the left here and see what's up. I like all these cool suits that you can't get. They just they're there to taunt you. Um, also, for everybody that's you know just tuning in, one really cool feature about this game is you can just pick stuff up and throw it. So if you're like wanting to take your anger out. To say, you know what, Mom? I'm upset today. All right, what do we got here? Some a Crayola box. One of the big old tubs. Can't get anything out of there. Oh, what do we have here? A hard hat. Yeah, no thanks. Uh, program your little computer. Give them access to the escape pod. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we need some kind of protocol chip which I'm believing we may find in here to use to get to the escape pod to at least get to the surface or something alright well on that note I'm going to take her up on her offer and stay out nah well, what kind of adventure story would that be if you actually heeded the the warnings <laughs> Dude's such a dweeb. Catherine? Catherine. <laughs> Stay out, you idiot. And he's like, Catherine? Okay, so I don't think we can go through here. That's weird. Oh, sh Okay, I think there's something there. Bruh. Okay, that thing was looking... Oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> It's literally, like, there. Alright, bro. Alright, we'll catch you later, dog. No, I guess you can leave. I was just being funny, but... I figured it was gonna, like, stop me or something. You know? But... Nope. We're just going to walk out and back in, and then we'll just have to sit through that sequence again. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I thought it would stop me. Oh, I can still jump. So I bet you were supposed to, like, run in here or something. Oh, she's hurt. Let's go help her. 
Okay, so this door opened. So let's go run up in here and see what's up. Whole lot of nothing. Catherine, is that you? Oh, look. <sighs> so now what? Did I get some new ability? No. Because you remember before, it used to just, you stick one finger in. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh yeah, for everybody that's, this is your first time, this little weird doodad, it actually heals you, even though there's, I don't, I don't really know how much health we have because it's not visible anywhere. Let's know if you, it's typically a, like, one hit kills you type game. Like, if they catch you, though. Because as you can see, I have no weapons. So I think it's just really story driven. Alright, let's go help our friend, wherever she is. Oh, what is this? A pit boy? Maybe not. Maybe not. Look at this ra array of hard drives just thrown. And this little hard drive cloner. Thrown. Oh, here we go. Now we're cooking with grease. Yeah, Very I do. Handy. Yeah, where are you? Simon, right here. Bruh, come on. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. Now, calm you down. sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. The project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. All right, time for plan B. What's plan B? Oh, the Omnitool. The tool you inserted into the terminal. Oh, yeah, the door opener. Yeah, you can pull my Cortex chip and put it into the Omnitool. What's a Cortex Look, chip? Look, we're getting a It'll Cortana. Be ejected for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just, I need you to do this one thing for me. Yeah, all right. Thanks. So, so Should I... be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. All right, bro. a robot chip for the door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? It's USB D standardized. All right. U USB S. Let's try. Look, look at the little petite grab. Be very careful. Never mind. Just yanks it. <laughs> Can I throw it? No. This is totally some Cortana stuff. So look, we're Master Chief now. Bioshock meets Halo minus the guns. And look, it kind of looks like a potato. So now it's Portal Two. Yeah, sure. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. Huh. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Huh. Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? 
They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, oh, all right, file it. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Hey, hey, I don't know Catherine on that level for what me to just call her Kath. From Toronto? Yeah, I just you went into that? a brain scan you hear that, Chuck? and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Yeah, if you think that's strange, that's you, she what? She golly. So I bet she's gonna be what allows me to escape. Pod. Oh, I thought I saw something walking, but I don't think so. Alright, where are the cool lights? Never mind. Can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. What am I doing over here? Just coming to get a computer part? Oh, maybe this. What are you doing? Be careful. That ain't me, bruh. Look, that's that dude that attacked us while we were outside earlier. Oh, Jesus. I don't see... Uh, what is this? Okay, there doesn't ap there doesn't appear to be anything in this room. Oh yeah, I think so too. Okay, this shit's getting a little creepy. No way to get in there. Huh. Some goo. What happened before? That creature was strangely... Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Alright, so we got at least a little health pack in here in the bathroom. Okay, so we've just made a full circle, I believe. So, can we go this way? Yeah, you can now. Okay, so this is the door we couldn't get into originally, so maybe this is what... Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the ARC. No, yeah. data recovery, ARC, there we go. How convenient. Ian. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? It can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing and hope Phi is still operational. Beyond the base. 
basics. Beyond the superficial, I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform, which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Very cool. All right, Ark is environment. Still inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Looks like um, my neighbor Totoro. Look, so that's all you gotta do. You gotta sit down, and they zap your ass up. So maybe they just scanned me into the system, and this is the arc, right? Who knows? Originally, when the game first started, the the main guy Simon just went and sat down in a chair and then was in a spaceship well I say spaceship technically underwater looked like a spaceship I bet you there's some like context clues here that tells you everything in the story that's happening but since there's no wordage we don't know Okay, if you're reading this, you have successfully entered the arc. The survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. Let's continue. All right, all right. So, how would you describe your physical condition? Um, I feel fake. I'm no longer a real person. Now, we're going to do invigorated, a better version of myself. There you go. Why not? How would you describe your mental condition? Uh, I feel alter. Yeah, definitely a change in character. There's some weird stuff happening. What about your senses? Uh, I'm definitely going to say I'm more sensitive and aware of my surroundings. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Ooh. What? Uh, we'll just go with this because definitely everything does feel constructed, being a sense that I don't have a lot to, I don't have a lot of places to go, right? All right. Are you troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly human? What? Yes, I mourn my previous existence. Carry on, wayward son. How do you perceive your new existence? Uh, we'll do like a new chapter of my life. Do you think the new existence will be a life worth living? Yeah, there we go. Maybe if we can find a sense of meaning in the world. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Maybe. Depending on how bad it is up in there, right? Alright. The Ark Tracker. Here we go. Look. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. Trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Okay. Alright, let's do Canada. Hmm. U.S. California. Well, at least it wasn't the last choice. We kind of won, right? There we go. I'm glad I just bit the bullet there. I, I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. 
There's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Captain. This is what Three. you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay. So we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What Calf. else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Yeah, see, Chuck. It completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay, then. Let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Oh, okay. So it's not really like, uh, like Halo with Cortana. Can I go down there? No. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. All right, while this is doing its thing, I'll be right back. All right, we're back, folks. Let's go. 
so, okay, we gotta go out this way. Good thing that this Omniplex is waterproof, but you know, I am curious because we could go right there, but there's this whole other area right behind here that looks really dark. See, and it just kind of goes that way. But I'm almost worried that if I, let me just kind of, let me just go a little ways down. I just want to see if maybe this is the way I came from, which it more than likely is, but I just don't remember trailing a bunch of, what? Lambda. We're supposed to be using that to get away. So anyways, it, it looks like maybe I just skipped the storyline, right? Because apparently, you, obviously this is where we're going to go. So we're going to try to get into this escape vessel. And it's going to, we're going to be thoroughly disappointed. I thought I was just like, I didn't want to like pass up an Easter egg or something. Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who didn't see this coming a mile away? Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you could find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. Hey, there, there you go. Should help you get around. Great. Beep, boop, bop. Let's do it. I'm like walking into it. I was looking at something on the old iPad. Alright, so let's go in here now. Place has definitely seen better days, huh? I do like the fact that even though we're underwater, it does allow us to kind of run. It's that boy, Robert Rhino. All right, so what all have you missed? Um, not a whole lot, actually. Can I jump out of here? Maybe this is a secret. Nope, I can't even get on that pipe, so it's definitely not a secret. We walked out of a building. Oh, no, dude, you're fine, man. I hate that, uh, that Twitch didn't update you, and I apologize. I should have just sent you another message. Um... So the only thing that you've missed, we walked out the main building, which was still underwater, so we came underwater, 
we went into a uh, another facility where we met Catherine, which was the gal that we were talking with originally in our the first day we were playing. Come to find out, she's a robot. She's not even human. Um, and then we learned about the Arc system, which is this. Um, it's a uh, mental place that people can get sent to. They upload their consciousness. I don't know if um, if it kills them. I'm assuming. I, she makes it sound like she's a version of her memory. So I don't think the actual person themselves dies. It's just their brain gets downloaded and sent off to whatever. But it's not like they would be in control of it. Because once you pass away, it's not like your body warps to your other consciousness, right? So I don't know. It sounds like a... Sounds like there's some weird like things. I actually know the end of this game because I've been watching a creepy channel which covered this and like halfway through I was like, wait, this is the game Quaid is playing. Uh, dun 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 well you better not be telling me anything. Let me ask you this. Are you talking about Alpha Beta Gamer? Because that dude plays some dope ass games. He's always plays some weird ass games. If if that's not who you're talking about, you should watch Alpha Beta, Alpha Beta Gamer. Nexpo. All right, I'm going to have to look into Nexpo. All right, so we just, like, went through here, I guess. Old Observer. Yeah, Observer's probably... Oh, shit. Hell no, it's that boy. Yeah, bro. I'd get a little freaked out, too. That dude was a little, little creeper. Just kind of staring at me. Alright, so look at this big old castle in the sky. Let's make our way over here. Looks pretty cool. You know, the worst games, the worst levels in most games are underwater, so I'm glad that at least this game lets you run pretty fast. Name one underwater game that you thoroughly enjoyed. And don't say Bioshock because you're not even really... I mean, you're underwater, but it's not like you're in the water like right now. Mario levels sucked, right? Like, who the hell wants to play... Let's say Mario 64, right? Everybody loves that game. But then you get to um, the little sea dock place where they got the lame uh, eel you got to get the star off his tail. What's the name of that one? That one's pretty miserable, right? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do like Subnautica. I have yet to play that game. I have it. I haven't played it, though. It's like a Minecraft of games, isn't it? Or no? It is, is it? I think it's randomly generated. Is that right? Go through here. Boy! Can I open the other way? I can't. There's gotta be something juicy and good in there. Look at these. Fire extinguisher, just what we need. Think I can make that jump? I think this is a secret. Look at this. It looks too perfect not to be, right? And that kind of looks like a platform over there. Let's do some bootleg ass jumping and see if we can make it. It won't let me jump. It's tricking me. Uh, uh, uh. What kind of crap was that? It let me jump on the first, like, this thing. And then it's an invisible wall. That was very depressing. Maybe I can jump on this? Because that looks like you should be able to go up there. But I feel like I'm going to go up there and come out right here and then be where I need to be. So let's probably going about it the hard way look see mm-hmm take my first rodeo 
I don't want to go down there because then I'll regret my decision when I fall and have to go all the way back through those. Although climbing on this doesn't sound too promising. Go ahead. After you. Hey, look, an aquarium underwater. That's cool, huh? Oh. Okay. All right. Where is it? Let's find a working escape vessel. Yeah. Let us do that. Okay. I can't tell which way to, like, open it. It's not really. That was weird. All right. Is that one open? Yeah, look at all this underwater stuff. They're like, we're only going to do that trick one time. Some seeds. Oh snap! What's the uh, what what's the next game we should try? Always like some creepy games. Come on, bro. I was about to say, I ain't got no other way to go. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to open up correctly. Let me hit him with that door closed. Oh, shucks. Oh, shit, son. Mother, I was not expecting that, like for real. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. I'm just gonna sit here. Alright, they can touch you. So this dude, he's not he just warps around, but he can get you. Wasn't expecting that. Oh great, now we're limping like a little bitch. Fuck me. You ain't coming to that door, bro. God damn. That <laughs> was not. That motherfucker is creepy. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> oh, God. They got me with old gimp walking and shit. They don't call it pimp walking, it's gimp walking. Close that. Oh, and he can open up doors, folks. Oh, and I can't go through that. Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. Let's we, let's see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run this way. We we out of here. I'm, I'm gonna have to. Okay, and I can't touch that door right now, so we're just gonna just get it going. That's that's gotta be him. I think that's his ass sounding like the radio, like bruh. Man, fuck me. Rough. Lair Layers of Fear. We're going to look into that. Same studio that did Observer. I like that already. Oh, God. This motherfucker. Come on, bruh. Oh, bruh. I'm oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so sad right now. Can I run around him? Oh, raw. Okay, don't, don't let this dude touch you, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, MG, I was not expecting that. Okay, he's in there, so we know what to do this time. We're just going to run away. Not that way, though. Mm, mm. We gotta go this way. 
close that, close that door. We don't want to know where we at. Oh look, here's us a 1-8 first aid. Well, looks like we're about to be stuck between a rock and a hard place. How'd I know? Ooh, there he is. Keep going, fam. Uh, of course, nothing there. We're gonna go this way. Mm -mm. Nothing in here. Okay. Bruh, I'm feeling. So uh, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! He's right there. We can't go through there. Come on, come on, come on. And that's the. Oh my, what is happening, folks? Oh, it's a dead. No, it's not. Oh, it's, it's totally a dead end. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Maybe I can hide in here. I'm gonna hold that bitch closed. He ain't coming through here, fam. I'm holding it. He can't come through. He's just pissed off and yelling at us. He's mad because I'm holding the door closed. Oh no, he opened it. Can I pick something up? Can I throw something at this dude? Oh my god. <laughs> Pretty sure I can see a doodle. What's gonna get me banned off Twitch with his naked ass walking around staring at people? Oh, he's right there. How am I supposed to get out of here? He's gonna get me. I'm just gonna run at him. Full speed. Come on. Come on, warp around me. I'm okay, so, long story short. Oh, dude. I didn't die. <laughs> Come on, bro. Open up. Open up, dog. <laughs> this this guy ain't letting me. He ain't letting up. <laughs> what if it said you died with your puss ass? Well, shucks, folks. That sucks. So the bigger question here is, is where do you go? Because it feels like that little turn and wrench doohickey. Turn and wrench. No, the, the little turn and, um, you know, wheel. What? It opens. Why is it pretending not to? That was scary. Bro, stay your ass up in here. Oh shit! Motherfucker! God damn! Let me. No. Let me verify. Oh. Mic check, test, test. Can you at least hear me? Can you hear that sound? Maybe it's not loud enough. You hear it now? You hear that? Oh, try to refresh real fast. You should be able to hear it because I've got it. OBS is showing feeds going through. Try to refresh. Oh, all right, let's see what's up. Firestorm covering the continent. How? 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 
Oh, he just bust through the damn door. This game has me so sketched out right now. Go, 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 go with your slow ass. All right, we verify there's nothing in there. Oh, oh, it works! It works! You just gotta have, you just gotta have faith. Bruh, 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 bruh. No time to goof off. Just go up, go up the damn stairs. Oh, bruh. Okay, it's been a hot minute since the game's like scared the shit out of me, and this game legit just scared the shit out of me. And that dude jumped in front of me. I hate jump scares. God. Like I was expecting it, but not at the same time. Wow, I hit him with that DeWalt. Chop him up. So I wonder if I can go up there. It looks like you could, but knowing this game, I can't jump on nothing. Yeah, so you can't jump on nothing on there. Like this is clearly like coming up to my knees. I, I could get on top of that, but they're like, nah, fam. It looks cool, but it's all visual. It's the visual aesthetics. I like that sideways toilet. How does that work? I mean, that's mounted on there. How? What? I am so lost. Do you see this? Look, you come up in here. Here's your regular toilet. Why is there a toilet mounted on the side? But, like, okay, so this... This isn't, like, a floor. Or is it? This this seems like it's wrong. Am I crazy? Look and then look at that. That's a mirror. Or a broke mirror. But there's a sink. I mean Okay. I'm not even gonna ask. Maybe they did that on accident. Or maybe Maybe this guy's starting to trip. Maybe he's starting to see that it's all in his brain. I'm still not convinced that like somehow I'm here. I mean, I originally came from my apartment. Oh, we're in an ejector. Well, before I go up in there, you calm down trying to whip out that old tool. Put your tool back in your pants. Where? I hear old boy, which means, yep, uh, we out. All right, we out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Peace out. Huh? What? Oh, you made it. This is much better. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. Vamoose. Uh, uh, wait, what? Safety locks are blocking the vessel's release. Are you kidding? How much more of an emergency could this ship be in? It's on the bottom of the sea. Right. Take a look at the engine room and see if you can figure it out. Maybe there's an override or something. F there's yeah. monsters out there. Yeah, like the ones a, we saw at Landa. Yeah, there's the a dude. reason to get going. What? Come on, you know the drill. Don't look at them or get too close. It'll mess with your circuits. Ah, shit. We need to get out of here. I know, I know. I'm going. Well, I guess that just stays there. I mean, I can see my circuits getting a little wonky, right? Because obviously I'm a robot. Okay, that's where we came from. It's got to be in this area. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, I don't like him. Is there a way to go around? No. I'm gonna like duck and dodge him around this this uh, table right here. God, I'm juked. You're not coming in either. No scrubs allowed. All right, we got to figure out what's up. I'm just gonna click random buttons.
All right, that's first aid if we need it. We don't quite need it right this second. Let's go upstairs. Oh, come on. You for real? Is this a door? No. Oh, is this going to let me jump over? No. Oh, what kind of cheap shit is this? Look, I can't get over it. Bruh. That was like shin level. Shin level. Look at it. Look how small. Look how. I mean, I could trip over that. Yeah, hook your boy up with them juices. All right, we're just gonna run. Since he's not right there, well, looks like we don't have a choice but to acknowledge him. Being as how, being as how you can't go through a crevice that's like the width of your kneecap. Can you use these over and over? You can't. Like, they need a little bit more, like, leniency, so to speak, on um, what you can and can't, you know, go get into. But I do find it to be quite silly that I just got killed by that dude. Gary is safe while submerged. The crew, what's left of it, is doing okay. Gary is safe while submerged. The crew, what's left of it, is doing Missing a thing of a bob. Alright. So this looks like probably where we need to be if I had to guess. See that hook? Don't be like Patrick and put your mouth on it. Okay, this is like some cutscene shit. Bass running back. Walking with a camp. Oh, sweet. I don't. <laughs> we got stuck on like a pipe. <laughs> that definitely wasn't the way to go. You died. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Here's what we're going to do this time. Look all the way down here. There's nothing. Apparently, you only got to get three. Oh my god, he is running! I'm under here, bitch. Come get me. Oh my god. Oh my god, this motherfucker is creeping me out. I'm freaking out. I gotta go run back around because I don't know where to go. <laughs> Ugh, I can feel him on my back. Oh. 
See, it's not going where I think it should go. Do I have to go back there? I see. I just don't know. Look at his ass right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There. That time it worked. Wait, this is where we went last time. So where am I supposed to go? It's not very, like, you know, which way to go. Not very clearly defined. Maybe this time, folks. Maybe this time. <laughs> This dude is scary as shit, though. Yeah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let me break... Let's break Neo out the Matrix. Grab it, you fool. Okay. Come on. This is like the 13th Warning. time I'm seeing this cutscene. Go. Proceed to the emergency vessels. Look, this time. That time it didn't have a big ass box block in the way, huh? Oh, look, here we go. This is where you gotta go. Damn. That's where I needed to go. Yeah, this is where I was trying to go earlier. Okay, I'm in. So let's get out of here. It's taking so long. We need to pump all the water up before we take off. Can't you do it any faster? I'm almost there. All right, here we go. Hold on to something. I'll hold on to this right here. Nope. Oh. Can you steer this thing? Starboard rotor is choking, but I can compensate. How do you even know what direction we're going in? Don't worry, I'm hooked up to the navigator. We're headed for Theta. Should be a matter of minutes. I thought I was done for back there. Seems like the WoW was keeping the Curie from going into a catastrophic failure state. I, I mean, how did it get on the ship? Are you talking about the black tentacles in the engine room? I've seen them before at Upsilon. What are they? They're a manifestation of a malfunctioning station-wide artificial intelligence called the WoW. Station-wide? So we just made a powerful enemy. No, no, it's not like that. The AI isn't a persona. It doesn't feel or think like we do. It's more like, uh, it's more like a cancer. Is that the ship? Looks like your sabotage worked better than expected. Bridge for impact! Hold on, the blast just pushed us off the plateau! What does that mean? If I don't hit Delta, we're dead. Well, who didn't see that coming, folks? That's the second crash. This game's like keen on crashing. So I can't get there too quick. Got to dump you out in the middle of the Atlantic again. Please remain seated. Put you underwater so crashes don't count. All right, let's get our Omni tool. Look who it is. It's Wally. And what's the chances? What's the chances that Wally just came to save us? Oh, hey, little guy. Didn't expect to see you again. Man, I'm not going to. 
if I'm going this way. I'll find a way to Thea. Cloud a long drop. Should I jump to see what happens? Why not? Oh, I don't even let you <laughs> land, man. Does it warp me back? It's totally Wally. Dude. I'm not gonna make Wally do that again. He a cool dude. Delta. Hey there, little man. Control room. Hell of a day. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. What? <laughs> Wally coming through, y'all. Can I sneak him? I can. Hey, look, a body. You saw that, right? You saw Acres. You saw that, right? You saw Acres fucking injecting that shit into them? It got me pretty bad. I think I made it worse than pulling away. I, I can feel it bleeding out. Can you see him? He got on the Zeppelin. He's going back to Theta. We have to warn them. Good luck with that. The platform radio is dead. Remember. The Lumar Annex should work. It has to. Yeah. You go. I'm not gonna make it. I'm just not. Come on, Evans. We have to warn them. We're gonna get a cool helmet. How do you think they get these computer chairs down here? I can't imagine that getting anything in here would be too easy. You gotta depressurize it and stuff. What does it come in like waterproof packaging? I wish Wally would tell me which way to go. I don't think that way because it looks like that's the drop off. So let's go over here. Which this looks like it's coming to a end now. Probably need to go around.
All right, that's all drop off point. What is this over here? Okay, it just goes out here. Looks like there's a big old pipe right here. Where do you think that goes? Careful, Simon, careful. All right, we've walked the entire perimeter, it feels like. So where is the entrance? Control room didn't have nothing. Yeah, I can get up here, surprisingly. I don't believe it. Oh, I was about to say, I definitely don't believe it. But look, we're kind of somewhere that we probably shouldn't be. Oh, here we go. Rest in shut. All right, here comes Probably Wally. Come on, Wally. I'm sure I trust the shuttle train anymore. He's like, nah, fam. I'm not gonna do it for you. Why not? Why you open every other door, but not this one? Oh, here we go. She can eat some vacation soon. Have to speak with Acres about that. Is that right, Acres? Yeah. You put in a good word for me. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I gotta figure out what it's supposed to be. Alright. This seems like it could be all day. So maybe it's something in here. Hey, okay, cool. Let's go see what this says. The reflection of what? My reflection in the black blood of our warden's whispers. I need to save them from this hell. Let them sleep. Lock them in lucid dreams I've seen. All right, bro, calm down. Uh, that's gross. You know what's up in there. Probably a old hot pocket. Oh, look, you can play. What? I want to play chess. Bet you there's a way to play chess. Oh, well, here we go. It's exciting to catch wave. Claim Delta half a year ago. I'd be worried if I have Guia. Black blood. Okay, whatever. Is there anything else I could use on here? Nope. I'm gonna scribble all over his stupidity. Eat you some, eat you some fancy feast for humans. Hmm. I keep hearing some like wet sounds behind me. Pretty gross. Uh, is that an eyeball? Oh yeah, it's an eyeball. Sweet. Ooh. 
Ooh. Alright, let me put you on the top shelf. Now when somebody opens that, they'll be in for a surprise. Can I grab the other one? It won't let me it'll let me grab one eyeball, but not the other. Alright, whatever. So what else we got here? Alright, so some kind of image, weird aliens, strange plant life. The lights are hurting my eyes. He's telling me I don't need this flesh inside my skull to see salvation. Alright, bro. Well, obviously this guy went a little crazy. But I'll tell you what he didn't do crazy give us the information that we need oh look there he took some Xanax never mind he took some Alpha X that's what happens when you start popping a man you never can let go all right how do I get up there all right I think that's it in this room I don't see anything else this is more of a shock factor than actual info once you pop the fun don't stop <laughs> while he waited for me. That was nice of him. I mean, this looks like the clearly defined area to go. But, I don't think it is. So we can like follow the tram tracks, which is what we did earlier. Wally, why won't you tell me where to go, bro? Obviously, you're my little, you're my little safe, my get out of jail card. You're always there when I need you. Was that called a Deus Ex? Is that right? Okay, we'll do. No, Ex Machina, right? Isn't that an Ex Machina? When it's like so like out of left field that you always get saved by something and you just gotta take it. So we've been in here, we've been in the other room. Wait. Have we been in here? We have, okay, I said to weep again. Oh look, what is this? What'd that do? We're just gonna push it because it was not pushed in originally. Uh, oh, look, it turns your terminal on. What? Alright, here we go. Access logs. Jump. Here we go. Zep. Acres is doing some strange shit. He took the Zeppelin back to Theta. Don't let him dock. Sh shut that, uh, shut it down, fam. All right, well, he didn't send it, so I'm going to send for him. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's zoom in. All right, so we've been to the landing platform. We went to HQ. We went to the comm antenna. Apparently, there's a little building directly behind us, like over here. So let's go over there. Come on, can you open any slower? Wait, that's what this, that's what the control room is, I guess. So I think maybe we haven't been to HQ. Yeah. Oh, it's got to be over here. I was looking at it wrong. Maybe this big ass thing over here. No, I keep thinking. I thought that was like some kind of against like a giant wall, but it's not. That's the problem too. You don't really have a sense of like direction. 
What is this? Is this HQ maybe? Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Maybe Acres is the one that went nuts. Maybe that's who's chasing us. This dude filmed himself. Hey, what's up? Oh, let's take this outside. Somebody like watching him, watching her. What the? Okay. Let's leave this giant ass iPad out here so that somebody will watch four photos. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't do that to me. Come on, come on. Just put it down all the way. There we, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so this is the aux station. So we went out the way we thought. So yeah, HQ has to be that control center. What is this trash? Is this gonna give me something? Press the doorbell. Here we go, here we go. No, uh, so depressing. I just want it to open because it probably would do something cool. Well, shucks. What did we learn by going out here? That that guy is attacking people because he's mad. So I feel like we've been everywhere. So maybe we missed something. Oh, my little robot dude scared the piss out of me. You know, there's not a whole lot of indicators out here saying, Hey, bruh, you need to go X. All I have to ask is why. Jump. Do a Kobe twist. Kobe. That's back to Bone F in Egypt. So let's turn around. Oh! Wait, this is that dude with the button. Press the button, which we did. Turned on the. Hey, broke out the way. Probably some stuff on there. Nope. So it's got to be something to do with the antenna, but like, I didn't see anywhere where they specify what the antenna code is. Oh, here we go, here we go. What a coincidence, huh? Okay. Alright, so it looks like here, I figured it out. There's yellow, which is four. There's green, which is eight. 
and there's red, which is two. Probably. Either four or nine. Eight, four, or two, one. Maybe. Let me nab a screenshot of this bad boy, so I know I'm going to need it later. Oh. I hate when the thing tries doing live mode. All right, let's go take a look. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Strasky, you can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set routes. Volgen did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. I guess it doesn't matter now. Are, are all of you coming? No, nope, just me, Goy, and Creer. Nick is set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> all right. See you soon, Brandon. Happy evac. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. I, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Uh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay, uh, see you when you get here. <laughs> Psychopath. Oh, look, maybe this is somewhere to go. Yeah, open that shit. Bust it open. Bust it wide open. Thanks, Wally. You a real one. Well, I'm not using that functionality. All right, we got some HP in case we ever need it. All right, here we go. So intelligence, complex. Oh, look, Wally is a K8, UH8, intelligence. He's a universal helper, that's what he stands for. Universal Helper 8. Note, while K8 lacks a voice module, it's able to communicate. Cool. Bulls are medium workers, and they have a remote pilot. Oh, I've seen these two, the Topas. Huh. Vessel has basic intelligence. Pilot is needed. Okay, cool. Terry, it's been decided that you and your crew will evacuate to Theta on the 14th. Everything's taken care of, and you will be given new positions. Cool. Man, screw that. I'm not going anywhere. You don't have the authority to make me your hermit. This isn't my orders, you idiot. I'm just a messenger. Calm your ass down, bro. I can buy some time if you want to hang out with your dump, but your crew is moving tomorrow, bro. The Strikers, I'm happy to inform you that your crew has safely arrived at Theta. Let me know when you're ready to move, and I'll send a transport. Merry Christmas. Don't hesitate to ask if you need to relocate it. If you want to be relocated to Theta, bruh. Hey, screw you, bruh. I ain't going there, you heard? Oh, yeah. Man, I wanted to play. Oh, look at this. I just now learned I could use directional pads to do that. Wasn't that where we were before? The Upsilon? Then we went to Labada. Now we're in Delta. Alright, let's go in this door. Bro, what? <laughs> what? I know there was a lid on here just a second ago. It disappeared. I, I know I'm not tripping. 
I could have swore I saw a lid. Am I crazy? Did anybody else see a lid? Oh, what is this? Nope. Alright, I'm just looking around. I don't see anything, so to speak. Oh, let me jump on top of these. Nope. Mm -mm. System's like, nah, bro. I'll give you a little leeway. You can jump on that one table right there, but that's about it. Alright, so back Wally thanks for your help getting in that room where I just read what you are all right so let's go to the antennas I took a picture earlier maybe those antennas will correlate somehow to the numbers that were assigned to them Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright. Brandon, did you move the Carthage casing? We need to test that one before we ship it. Oh, wow. Man, you can really tell when Astrid is off platform. This place turns into such a locker room. Not in a good way either. All right, uh, photos. Know, Let's see, so the yellow one. I just say we can keep things classy even when women aren't around. You know? Why don't you call that one? Right, let's go to green, actually. Green would be 8 9. Well, there is no 8. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're so full of shit, Brandon. I've seen you in payload manager Alice Coster shows. Oh, look. Okay, so that is 840. Okay, channel 2, so now what? Does it remember it or something? Okay, I guess it does. Okay, so... But does this one remember? I don't think it does. Yeah, we're going about it wrong. Huh. Like, I feel like there's another button I should be pressing. Like that power button or something? Okay. Oh, you know what I just thought about? I bet what we're doing right now is establishing a link to various buildings, maybe, from where I'm at. So this one would be directly south of us, which is over here maybe it's a hypothesis let's go see if I'm right or wrong not gonna be that Sucks. Wally, you're like no help. Wow, 
Wasn't there something we saw where it said antennas? Oh, you know what? It was this thing over here. This. Okay. That was creepy. All right, so the other one, let's go. So we gotta go run over here. So this has gotta be what we're doing. I keep forgetting though. So here's where we went. It's like, is it this one? Look, there it is. It's just literally two feet away. Cargo. Oh yeah. Zeppelin's on its way. Better get ready. Okay. Where the hell do I get ready at? Must come right here. Yeah. Come and get your boy. Come and take me home. I'm ready to get out this shitty area. That's definitely the second There it is. All right, Zeppelin, come get your boy. Here I am. I'm ready. Let's roll. Calm down. We're safe. Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. I had to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. You get a stun baton? Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Oh, sort he's... of. He's a robot chip. now. Wuss. Alright. Give me that stun baton. Yeah, boy. Look what I got. Got a weapon. Got a weapon that I can only use limited time only. Oh, man. I gotta shoot my dude. I'm really sad about this. Come here, bro. Come here, let me touch you with this. 
Yeah, run away, bro. It's not worth it. Let me go get your friend. Yeah, let me get this dweeb. This feels so mean. Dude's over here just trying to do his job. <laughs> this poor guy. Alright, sweet. Thanks. Coming to take your chip, bruh. All that and he came and get his chip. There it is. This works. Sorry. Look, bruh, I know. Uh-oh. Look, he's mad at me. I've disappointed him. Now I feel bad. Wait, come here, bro. Let's be friends. Come here. He's really mad at me. You can tell. Look at this guy. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. We we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere, present. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. Simon's a puss. Let's go. Oh, I gotta press the button. Makes sense. Thanks. Can't believe I had to do that robot dirty like that. That was kind of mean of me. And then he's over here like, I'm part robot too. Well, who knows? How much you want to bet there's going to be a crash? Just like random crash. This game's like, man, I don't know how to plot develop. Let's just crash again. <laughs> You're really good back there, Simon. Yeah, we got thanks. a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the duck back, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the duck back, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. Bruh. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. 
and the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cool? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and then go insane? I wouldn't Maybe worry so. about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omni tool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Calf, uh, before you go, Kath. the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. It's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. Look here, you old bee. Alright, we're in Theta now. Master Theta. Let's go this way. Also, I got about five minutes before we start wrapping up. So let's see what we got. Let's see where we, if we can at least get in the building. Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in anchors. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The lab sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Grandma, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Stras, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. Coming in, ready or not. Ma, they're selling chocolates. What are they selling? Chocolates, ma. Huh, <laughs> I'm just kind of taking a quick gander around just to see. Cause looky here, we found a secret. Press this button. Found a secret that won't open. This game really doesn't have any collectibles, so <laughs> sometimes it's not worth going around. But you never know. Might find a piece of lore. It just lures you in. <laughs> Nothing over yonder. Let's go take a let's go take a quick little sneak peek in this crevice. Whole lot of nothing. Cool. Alright, that's fine. Let's get into this building. Let's get into this building, then we'll wrap it up. If we can get in there. Look at this. I can figure this out. Can you? He man, yeet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, look how strong I am now. I can barely hold it if you're using like the analog sticks, but if you use that directional pad, all day, baby. Okay. Okay. It's not as easy as it looks, folks, I promise. I can't tell if it, I guess it don't want me to do anything. Okay, maybe not. I'm like, okay, I'm grabbing it. Come on, you can do it. It must be locked, I guess. It's like a key. Come on, you can do it, bro. Oh, you gotta spin it. 
Because that makes sense. Bruh. What a pain in the butt. Like it it's hard to explain, but so that can it it doesn't feel the way that the game motions kind of lead you to believe the icons. I was sitting there like holding it, it's like tilt this way. And I'm like, uh, eh, not working. Oh wait, I gotta spin it. This is a big old room to pump water in and out of. They should have had like a little dock or something. <laughs> uh. That's weird. Hey, this looks like the first level of Metal Gear Solid. Hello? Anyone there? Catherine, we found Theta. Oh, we are master Thetas. Oh, wonder what I can do with this. I don't know. Smash it. That's how we roll around these parts, fam. Oh man, I was thinking totally like you could break more, but it's like. Okay, throw it, and it's going to break in this exact spot. Bruh, stop making all that damn noise. Alright, so... I could be mean and be all like, Alright, next time, see y'all tomorrow, we'll put this on. But we're going to put this on, and then we're going to call it a night. So, let's go ahead and throw it on there. We're here. We're here. Here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. Yeah. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's, it's the only transport gun. that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Cat. What's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just... Thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm, sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. It's like, sorry fam. I know you're getting somewhere and the story gets progressively good, right? But, twist. Now you can't get to it because it's under quarantine. And it's so bad that, you know, sucks to suck. And then my dude's like, maybe there's somebody under here. Huh? Let me go look around. Like, dog. Most of, most of humanity apparently has been wiped out. But there's one guy that's going to know the answer to why the dun bat is being a dung bat. So, anyways. So, I'm Quaid. And I uh, appreciate y'all hanging out with me this evening if you do like what you watched um you can watch part one and other stuff on 
the YouTube that I'm going to upload this to. Um, and you can always get that link in the info. And then also, I have, um, we're going to stream tomorrow from 8 to 10. We're going to continue this game. And then Saturday, we're going to have a, uh, a DJ show. So definitely tune in to those. The DJ show starts at 7 and then ends at um, whenever we decide to end. Usually it goes pretty pretty late. So anyways, thanks again, everybody that tuned in. Much love. Thanks for the tips. Um, and I saw that I've been getting a buttload of followers too, so that was really cool. Yeah, definitely tell all your friends. But with that being said, I really appreciate everybody's time. Thank you again. And um, everybody have a good rest of your evening. All right, let's see. Are you sure you want to exit to the menu? I'm going to hit yes. All right, but I was just triple checking and make sure it's safe. So. All right, everybody. Y'all have a good one. Bye.